when money is tight, the things that people consider superfluous go first. You really need art? I mean, yes, but no. And I'm sure that the, that the quote unquote fine art world will take a hit, except, and I guess this would be true in anything, the super top, you know, if a Picasso comes out on auction, yeah, that, that seems to always hold. Because there'll always be really rich people who really want those commodities. I mean, the world I work in is not that world. And so if I'm going to work on a, a series of book covers, they may have a meeting in their office and say, well, how much is this going to cost? Okay, it's going to cost three, four, five thousand dollars a cover, for argument's sake. Why don't we put type on the cover? You're going to save four or five thousand times twenty covers. Somebody is going to win that battle. It may be the creative director whose argument will be, well, great, then we'll look like every other bloody book out there. But the bottom liners, the bean counters, will say, doesn't matter. It used to be that annual reports were incredibly profitable for artists and photographers. I mean, they would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on an annual report because this was their ego statement. Now, it's like, well, what will our investors say when they get a statement saying 400,000 bucks for an annual report? Well, you know, put it on toilet paper. But there always are people who say, look, I want something special, or somebody who believes that a logo, a brilliant logo, or a brilliant piece of branding, art, or photography will drive that company. I can go around the world and make that argument all the time, and I will win every battle. Because in reality, good design and good art will always pay for itself.